Hi there, my friend. I'm back with some more Minecraft. So um, this is my last tutorial for Computer Craft. Reason for that is actually want to move on, even though I would like to do more uh, videos on Computer Craft, which I will. Um, as far as my uh, custom map will be concerned, I'll try to update you uh, whenever I get significant updates. Um, also, I want to film some custom maps, everything. I don't want to do only computer crafts, even though it's a very, very wide subject. Um, I just don't want to stick to that. Um, and also, the main goal of my videos is not only to actually uh, show you how to uh, program uh, in LUA for computer crafts, uh, nor is it to actually um, show you how to uh, do specific things. My goal is actually to get you to be a bit curious and um, yeah, try to figure out things by yourselves uh, which I believe would be the best if you're actually interested in programming some advanced stuff because if you learn st by yourself it would be much more helpful than um, all the tutorials in the world so yeah uh, if you need any help I recommend you uh, go on your computer you can type help um, if you type help programming bleh, programming it will uh, give a link to a website it's pretty good it gives all the functions you need as a beginner um, pretty cool help um, index will show off all the whoop not inks index there we go it will give you all the different programs you can execute from a computer um, what else? APIs. It will give you a list of functions you can use. So uh, the two I use the most are probably OS and Redstone. So you can also, if you want to know what the functions are to be used, just type RS dot. Uh, no, wait, no. <laughs> Help um, OS, for example. There we go. Ugh, I'm terrible at typing today. There we go. It will give you the list of all the functions you actually need. OS reboot. I've been using quite a few times. Um, Help event like that will give you uh, all the different events you can actually summon um, if you're interested in actually how to summon events check out my video um, my previous video on computer craft it's part 3 this one is I'm doing right now is part 4 so yeah check it out um, yeah so today I'll be showing off both those machines well this one and this one this one I have already shown off but I have improved it and today I will actually be showing you the code, which I had not done last time. So yeah, the program is called red, like this. It will ask you to enter a 4-bit binary number. A 4-bit binary number is basically like this, 101. So it's a full-digit number uh, with only ones and zeros, like this. And when you execute that, um, you actually get the pattern you inputted, um, yeah, like 1001. That's pretty much how it works. And so you can try again, like pressing w Y um, or any other, um, bleh, any other key except an N. And so you can type something else like 1111. There we go, everything turns on. It works just fine. Um, if you type N or capital N, it will actually stop the program. So as for the code, uh, so edit. Ugh, terrible typing. And it red, there you go. So uh, basically how it works, there's this huge loop uh, which will go on and on as long as you want the, uh, the program to uh, remain on. So uh, basically that's when the moment you decide whether you want to keep on or not is when the program asks try again and then you have to type Y or N. So that's uh, basically it. Inside the loop um, it clears the screen and then uh, inputs, well no, not input, displays on the screen, enter a 4-bit binary number um, as you've seen and then asks you the number itself. Then it uh, enters another loop, a different kind of loop, which will go on four times and um, evaluating what is the num or what is the character shown at uh, the position um, evaluated, so 1, 2, 3 and 4 and then it will actually light 
well, figure out which branch to light up accordingly. Um, and once it, that's done, it will light everything up um, as decided. Then print, um, if, well, asking you, do you want to try again, yes or no. Uh, you input Y or N, and then it will evaluate if you type N or capital N, it will set close to zero, which is a variable. Um, which, when it's set to true, it will exit the loop. And so when you exit the loop, it will set everything to zero uh, once again, thereby turning uh, all the lights off. I don't know why, actually, those lamps tend to have a little bug. Um, While well I'm playing in 1.21 update, maybe it's been updated by now. Um, I don't know. It doesn't. They don't seem to update light very well. Oh, well, never mind. That I'll try to figure out later on, maybe. Um, so as for this program, it well, this computer receives data and this one sends it. It's basically some some sort of mini network, except the data uh, goes only in one direction. So you can't really send information on both sides. This computer sends a number and this one receives it. So to receive a number, you have to enter a function called receive, which will isolate a loop uh, to receive a number, and this will actually um, have a function called send, which will send a number um, like five. We send that, and there we go. It says received five. So to actually illustrate how it all works, I'm going to put a bundled cable right there uh, to get an actual display. So yeah, let's try send. 6 and uh, oh. <laughs> I always do that mistake it's actually send and then I type 6 uh, just after so you notice uh, both numbers here and well both lamps in the middle right on uh, here you don't receive anything because you haven't actually executed receive so uh, this representation you get here is a representation of a binary number if you don't know how to count basically um, each lamp has a value, the one all to the left uh, has a value of 1 and then the next one, no wait, it's all to the right has a value of 1 and then you multiply the next one at the left by 2, by 2, by 2, so you get 1, 2, uh, 4, 8 and if there was one here it would be um, 16, 32, 64 and so on. So that's basically how, and so yeah, to count all you have to do is add uh, all the lit up lamps and you should get a number. So, like I said, 6, it's 2 plus 4, and so it's a 2 middle ones. Uh, that's basically how it works. Now, as for the code, um, edit send. There we go. Yeah, it will show off all the code. And, yeah, it will ask the number between 0 and 15. You input it and it will do a whole bunch of calculus, calculations, I don't know. And um, then set the wires accordingly. And uh, after a sleep of two seconds, it will set to zero. That's why it, uh, those lamps stay on a limited amount of time. It's actually um, setting them off so that the next time it executes, if I type the same number again, it will actually. Well, there will be a change in the output, no, the input. I don't know, it depends actually. The output, and that will allow uh, the event here to actually be launched. So, uh, as for here, edit receive. It will clear all the screen. Um, just like the red program, it will enter a loop, um, pull an event, and figure out whether it's redstone or not and um, basically it will uh, calculate the number the same way I actually presented it or I explained to you and then it will um, display the number you actually uh, typed on the other computer and um, yeah that's it will actually ev exit the loop only if um, you d it displays a number and so that's that's all it does here. Yeah. So um, if you're interested in programming tutorials, let me know. I could uh, do more than LUA for computer craft. I can also do 
VB, Java, C, C++, um, and many others. If you there is one uh, language which interests you, post a comment. I can actually have a look. Um, so yeah, um, I guess that's all for today, and I'll be seeing you next time. See ya.